So yeah, real original thing for me to go ahead and put on this song. I'm gonna be completely honest. <laughs> What's up, Agents Zero here, and welcome back to another Minecraft Redstone video. Today, I'm actually going to be checking out an older map of mine called Secret Observers. Now, I basically did this last week with my um, 10 Hopper Uses map, and I decided I wanted to do it again because this is an older map of mine, as I said, and basically, this is a Redstone tutorial map of all things. I know that's not really a big surprise for me. Um, yeah, I actually ran through this map earlier today just to make sure it was working, and I found a couple of bugs, which I'm gonna explain what these bugs I encountered are, but I'm gonna try my best to run through it as best as I can. Uh, regardless of those uh, bugs. So let's go ahead and get started. So we spawn right outside this little uh, hut right here. It says survival and peaceful please. By the way are you running 0 0.15.0? 0? Do you need it? Well I am in fact um, in survival and peaceful but <laughs> obviously I'm not actually in 0 0.15.0 0. so that just kind of goes to show you guys how long ago this map was actually made. This was quite a while ago. So let's go ahead and go into this house um well this is just the basic star house because in previous survival worlds that i've done i basically dug out a little hole in the side of a hill as my house and this is basically how i started things out but anyway let's go ahead and go into this chest and we're gonna pick out this stone pickaxe now here's a bug that i encountered take a look at my hot bar i technically have two stone pickaxes, one in the first slot, one in the third slot. This is actually one of the first bugs I encountered replaying this map. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about it, and I found out there's a little bit of the map that ends up being broken if I try to repair this bug. I have no idea what causes it. But anyway, it says stand here and break. So we stand on this block right here, we break this stone right here, and it's going to do that. Now here's the bug that I encountered with these pickaxes. For whatever reason, if I try to fix this bug, this slime block down here will break itself. I'm not entirely sure what causes it, but it does happen. So let's go ahead and move this stone pickaxe right here. I have no idea what caused the bug in the first place. Okay, so here we go. How was that for a map intro? Anyway, welcome to Secret Observers, a tutorial map for the new blocks in 0 0.15.0. Don't worry, I will explain what just happened. Just be patient with me, okay? Thanks. <laughs> so, yeah, this was kind of like a bit of an odd intro to start the map off and take a look. That cobblestone that we mined out is now back where it was originally. So that's actually kind of cool. So it uh, was made by uh, me, obviously. Twitter, Agency P0, MC Amino, Agency P0, which again, I don't even know if MC Amino is even still a thing. I didn't even look it up since the last video. I'm actually going to look it up by the time this video is over, see if it's actually still a thing and YouTube coming soon. So this was actually not too long before I actually started my YouTube channel. So I actually was surprised about uh, that sign when I first saw it. So let's go ahead and get started with the remainder of this map. Okay, so okay, so what's new in 0 0.15.0? Well, this stuff. So this room basically had all the stuff in it that was new to the game. We had pistons, we had sticky pistons, and we have observers. So these were all the brand new things that were introduced in 0 0.15. So it has been quite a while since these uh, things were added into the game. But as far as this map is concerned, these were completely brand new. And I wanted to give a little bit of a tutorial to those of uh, people who were playing this map when it first came out on how these were crafted and used. That's basically the whole idea behind how this map was made. And as you can tell, obviously there's a whole bunch of different cave systems that I set up um, because I felt like that might be a relatively cool thing to do. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and say right here, 
this side looks for block update. So yeah, it's actually, this part was actually supposed to come second. I'm a little bit of an idiot. So now, what exactly is the observer? Well, it's a block update detector or BUD. It looks for block changes, then gives a redstone pulse. Okay, so it says to turn around. So go ahead and test it. You know you want to. Yeah, real original thing for me to go ahead and put on this sign. I'll be completely honest. So, as you guys already know with how observers work, when you do a block update to them, they give out a short redstone pulse whenever they detect an update. This was, as you already know, completely brand new to Minecraft Pocket Edition users back when this update first came out. But obviously, as I mentioned before, this update was quite a while ago. So, this is not anywhere close to being new information. So let's go ahead and go back to this side right here. So this side looks for block updates. When the observer is placed, this will already be facing whatever block it's placed on. So camera angle is very important. Now, something to note about this. Back when observers were first introduced, they did not have the texture you see here. In fact, this was the original texture that they were going to implement, but it was scrapped. I do believe... I still have within my uh, files on my tablet a picture of what the observers actually looked like when they were first introduced into the game. If I actually do still have that uh, uh, file, I will make sure to have it on screen so you guys can see what originally looked like. But this is what they look like now. So back when this map was first made, it used the original texture, obviously. Okay, so let's move over here. When the observer sees a block change, this side gives a one tick redstone pulse. Useful for, for a lot of things. Uh, so, we're going to come down here and read what it says. Hidden bases, that's right, this map is a hidden base. Yeah, bet you guys didn't see that. <laughs> yeah, you probably did. Alright, so, of course you probably guessed that by now. Good job for you. Yeah, I guess I kind of put a little bit of a pun there. Um, so... Now, how do you build one of these? Well, obviously dig out first, duh. That's the hard part. The redstone is easy. Before we get there, there's a basic vanilla machine you need to understand first. We first need to make a stone generator, and there's two types. So let's go ahead and keep going down. This is like nothing but going down. Um, when lava hits water from above, you get smooth stone. So this is what happened when a lava hits water from the side. So here's how this works. So water is flowing in this way and lava is flowing in down this way. When the lava, as it says, hits the water from above, it creates smooth stone. When lava hits water from the side, you get cobblestone. When building a generator, place the water first. If you don't get, if you don't, the generator may not work correctly. Also, to prevent lava from turning into obsidian, dig a hole for the water to flow into. So here's what this set of signs is basically explaining. So, the water needs to be placed down first, and what you want to do is make this little vertical L shape so that the water flows down into here. Then you place your lava down in here. When the lava flows over to here, where it meets the water, then that's what, what's going to create the cobblestone. Those of you who watch my two previous seasons of Mega Skyblock should already know this by now, because this is how you make a cobblestone generator, obviously. So let's go ahead and keep going on. Now it's time to see how the machine is built. So in here is the basic redstone of how all this is working. You have still have that pick right, then try the circuit. So what this is basically doing is telling us to go ahead and break the cobblestone in this spot right here. So let's go ahead and do that. What this is going to do is going to send a redstone pulse all the way over until it reaches this piston right here. And it's activating this cobblestone generator. And, well, not really activating, but it's working with the cobblestone generator. So as soon as it detects an update, it's going to send the redstone signal through all of these repeaters. And then once it does, it's going to reach this piston, which this piston is going to end up firing. As you might have guessed, you can use whichever stone generator you wish to make. Now the piston will actually try to fire twice since the observer is technically triggered twice. So how do you prevent that from happening? Alright, so this is something that's 
common knowledge and the sec well the first thing anyway the second thing may not be as obvious there's two ways to stop the piston from pushing blocks i kind of explained that already um one is natural the other is player controlled vanilla pistons can only push up to 12 blocks that's the obvious part once you hit 13 the piston will not push anything the piston can also be stopped by another piston. The piston behind the left wall is powered by a clock, and the piston below stops mm, it uh, if I'm pushing blocks. Apparently, I had a little bit of a typo there. Um, so here's what's going on. So as you can tell, there is a redstone clock going, which is going to be activating a piston. And here's what's going to happen. I'm going to go ahead and break this uh, block right here, and the piston is going to fire. And that piston right here, that's uh, already extended right here, as you can obviously tell, this is going to prevent this piston from being able to fire. Now, I can only assume that this is going to be shorter than 12 blocks um, for obvious reasons. Now, um, I don't know how short of a distance it is, but it is fairly obvious that the piston right here is, in fact, preventing the uh, cobblestone from being pushed any further so let's go ahead and climb up this way and we have ourselves a little bit of a minecart track so let's go ahead and get out a minecart we're going to place it down right here and we're going to go ahead and ride this all the way to the other end of the track and this is where the next bug is that i encountered up oh, okay so apparently the uh, bug did not work uh, as bad as I thought it would, but it did kind of work, but then there's also a secondary bug which is prevalent with just controllers, for whatever reason Mojang seems to be ignoring this. Um, apparently when you get out of a minecart and your crosshairs look back into the minecart, uh, you get back in it. But anyway, that's enough about that bug. So, the initial bug that I was encountering was this, the uh, activator where it was supposed to kick you out of the minecart, and apparently actually ended up doing that this time. Well, that's it. Hopefully you learned something about Minecraft Pocket Edition 0.15.0. Thank you so much for downloading my map. So yeah, this was effectively the very tail on the map, if you couldn't tell. So here it was all my information about this map. So Twitter, MC Meal, and YouTube coming soon. Well, obviously I am a YouTuber at this point, otherwise I wouldn't be making this video. And I want to go ahead and show you exactly where this minecart rail actually ends up leading. Yeah, all the way down to a lava pool. So I wasn't very creative on trying to destroy the minecart rail. I, uh, but I was doing that so that um, basically you had to um, at least get out of the minecart. This activator rail is supposed to actually kick you out of the minecart Um which it effectively did, but then there's that uh, controller minecart bug, which Mojang is ignoring. But you know what? With that out of the way, I think this is a good place to go ahead and end off the video. Actually, before I go ahead and do that, one little note that I want to make about this map, which I think is still technically a thing uh, with this map. So, if I actually walk all the way down around this hill, as you can tell, there's a light source coming out. And, well, it leads all the way back to the start of this map. So, you could effectively loop this map around if you really wanted to. Um, I actually did not end up doing this. I actually deleted the world and reloaded it fresh. Because I actually completely forgotten about this until just a little bit ago. But, yeah, that's actually going to have to do it for this video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Well, more than make sure that subscribe button for future content. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at HNCP0 to stay updated. This has been Zero Studios. Thank you guys for watching, and with that, I will see you guys later.